Oh yeah, this game's called 60 Parsecs. There's like another version where you're like in a bomb shelter, but this one takes place in space. But I haven't played this in a while. This should be like a quick round though. Oh, do survival. Looks very Futurama-ish. Yeah. Oh, so you gotta pick a captain. I'll pick this guy. I feel that my mates were over for till 1 a.m. No, the bomb shelter one. Oh, the bomb shelter. This one's cool, yeah. So this guy's got one agility, two intelligence, and two strength. It's kind of like turn-based, like Oregon Trail almost. A galaxy bestseller, over 42 chapters on everything you need to know about the universe. Didn't get to sleep till like 2 a.m., bro. I think I slept like a little bit after 10, and I woke up at 3.30 today. Day one. Uh, check the star log. I forget how to play this. Oh, here we go. Hey, Astro, computerized assistant reporting for duty. You must be Tom, right? I'm pleased to announce that due to your actions during the escape, you are the perfect candidate to become the captain of this vessel. Welcome aboard the escape shuttle, Captain. On behalf of the Astro Citizen program, please accept our apologies for the slight misfortune of being blown 60 parsecs away from Earth. First order of business, find a safe place to land and then try to contact the outside world. Please turn on the main computer for further instructions. It is located in the center of the shuttle. Follow the regular rationing protocol and feed your crew. The command is yours, Captain. All right. The floor is yours, Captain. You should now give a speech that will guide this vessel and its crew through the stars. You prepared it, of course. Everyone is looking forward to your speech, Captain. So am I. This is it. You can really show what breed of Captain will you be on this incredible journey. What kind of speech will you give? Uh, strength. Alright, next day. Gotta grab a bunch of stuff and survive type thing. Yeah! A strong captain is what this crew needs. Too bad your display of power was limited to threatening to eat all the soup yourself. As far as speeches goes, it was one of the worst in this part of the universe. Your crew seems to be in agreement about this. Congratula congratulations, Captain. Uh, it's day one, and you have already succeeded in bringing your people together against a common foe, no less. Captain, the crafting module in the back of the uh, cabin is now active. It's pretty self-explanatory. This wonderful machine lets you create and destroy in accordance with the principle of mass conservation. All you need is a little bit of materials, or minerals, chemicals, or power. Use it to craft, recycle, and repair your supplies, as well as upgrade items and shuttle systems. I wish I knew where you are pulling all those spare soup cans from, Captain. Plus one soup. Okay, what's this? That's what we just read here. Okay, we got something here. This is the uh, decision. Dying from dysentery or dysentery in three, two, one. Hopefully not. Captain, I am detecting a troubling buildup of mental tension. Recommended course of action. Throw an epic party. I took the liberty of inviting myself. Invite the entire crew, but of course, the more the merrier, I guess. How about we invite someone new, eh, Captain? Someone you don't know. Or we make ourselves a new companion. Yes. How do we do it? Sock puppet. Oh, I can't pick that? I don't have a sock? I guess I don't have that. Wait, I guess we skipped the thing somehow. Usually you have to like gather a bunch of supplies and then you leave, but I guess we skipped that. We don't have a sock puppet, no! Day three. Hey there, Captain Buzzkill. Feeling better? Bet you'd be much better off after a night of partying with your friend, Astro. Your loss. Isn't that a mode? Oh, maybe. I picked survival. Maybe it was a different one. Captain, detecting some strange energy distortion. Almost as if we're going through a ripple in space-time. If we're not careful, we may get stuck in a time loop and never... Captain, I'm detecting some strange energy distortion. Oh. Time loop. I don't have this either. I don't have a battery. Uh-oh. This run might be over before it even began. Uh, well, they're not hungry yet. They're just kind of chilling. Can you believe it, guys? Look at the tag they gave me. Tom Thompson, hoarder. 
Uh huh. And the other one, you run around the house and collect your supplies and family members. Yeah, that's. We did that in this one too, but it's probably a different mode. Surprised, you know. <laughs> Uh, there's the time loop thing. Okay, although most things stay the same, the metabolic functions of you and your crew kept progressing while we were stuck. This resulted in everyone feeling like it's been days since they last eaten. Be careful, Captain. I won't say it again, unless we enter another time loop. You should eat something, Captain. Megan's asking for more rations. Emmett would like to eat something. Dee Dee is complaining about an empty stomach. Alright. Universe is connected to Sanctuary. <laughs> Oh, we got decisions here. Captain, it's important to keep yourself and your crew well fed. One portion of delicious canned soup is enough to sustain a human for a few days. Even one can can be the difference between life and death. It is therefore vital to keep good inventory in your stock. Unless you want to eat your own crewmates. That was a joke. Please appreciate it and laugh. Thank you for your cooperation, Captain. Who will perform the routine supply check? The only requirement is simple mathematics. I realize I might be asking a lot, but I have a good feeling about this crew, Captain. I think this guy for math. They line that up perfectly. Who had the empty stomach? I think it was DD right here. I mean, they're all hungry, though. Now we, we can go another day. You guys will be fine. We'll be fine, bro. Good news, Captain. The shuttle came pre-stocked with an emergency food supply. Use it well. Plus two soup. The well, or the routine, uh, routine supply check is now complete. Well, well, look at that. The numbers add up. Good job, human crew. The current number of soup cans on board is nine. Plus two soup. Look at that. We got more soup over here. Uh, correction. The accurate tally is actually 11. Additional foodstuffs were delivered to the shuttle instead of entertainment supplies. Lucky you. The food you collected is more than sufficient for now. Just don't eat it all at once. Since Emmett did such a good job, I think it's only fair to nominate him as your payload officer. In this role, Emmett will procure some minerals for you daily, as long as he respects you as a captain anyway. You're still hungry, Captain. Megan keeps asking for soup. Emmett's complaining about the lack of rations. Dee Dee is still hungry. Alright, and then what do we have here? Hello there, Captain. Might I ask you why you are going through the files? You're not really meant to see the contents of my digital storage unit. Ah, Protox. Now that's a fun file. Just please don't. Oh no, what have you done? You shouldn't have ran that program. Protocol X initiated. That's a secret protocol. It's meant to be an experiment. The consequences of initiating the protocol will be severe. Use your skills and do something, Captain. Hacker Man. Initiated. Alright, I guess I will treat you guys to soup now. Alright, I don't want to mutiny here. Day 6. Despite your best efforts, you weren't able to stop Protocol X. A fear agent has been released through the ventilation shaft, which is why you thought giant ants are crawling all over the ship. I'm terribly sorry about that, Captain. There are a lot of protocols devised by the masterminds behind Astro Citizen Program that should never be initiated. I'm afraid that your entire crew will also need some counseling, or counseling after this fiasco, and you will too. It's no wonder that your sanity has been shaken. There is no avoiding that, I'm afraid. You finally stopped complaining about rations, finally. Uh, permission to speak frankly, Captain. You went insane. Some shock therapy. Uh, featuring the friendly face of a sock puppet is in order. Consider creating one using the crafting module in the back of the cabin. Megan doesn't need any more rations right now. Emmett's not hungry. Dee Dee's not hungry. Crafting? Where? Crafting. Is it right here? Ah, there we go. Yeah, let's craft a sock puppet. Nice. Okay. A red kind of sus. <laughs> it is a matter of a national pride that America becomes the first country to play sports in space. True, true. Astro Citizen has already done the focus testing, and they've come up with the perfect name, Astro Sport. Refusal to participate will initiate emergency captain ejection protocol. What shall the rules of Astro Sport be? Speed. Alright, next day. Day 7. No sense in reinventing the wheel. 
a spitball, an empty soup can, and someone blocking the way is all you need. Shoot it. Catch it. Open your eyes, human. Dee Dee was the MVP, which means she wins a free sock puppet. And that means you win a free sock puppet. It's good to be a good cap- or it's good to be a captain, captain. <laughs> Yo, plus one sock puppet. Nice. You still seem a little unhinged, sir. Crafting cancelled, resources refunded. You're hungry? Megan's hungry. Can I- Oh, we can play! Oh, that's what he is. Sanity's insane. Okay. He's hungry and insane right now. That's why he's standing up like that. Alright. Oh, there's a sock puppet. See? Right there. Stops insanity. Or so they say. Okay, what's this? Your attention is required, Captain. This is most abnormal. We are registering unknown transmissions, but I cannot identify who is sending them. And more importantly, what they contain. It might be a solar flare in interference or worse, a new type of Soviet encryption. We need to decipher these signals as soon as possible. For all we know, our survival depends on it. Who do you want to put in charge of monitoring these communications? I feel like she would be good for communications. Yeah. Okay. Let's give him the sock puppet so he's not crazy. Day 8. First contact. Goals updated. Check goal section for details. Captain, you need to see this. I'm not easily excited, but this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and human-made AI alike. We are not alone in this universe. The signals we intercepted were finally decrypted. They are alien transmissions, as in coming from other light forms. And no, I do not mean the Reds. It's something we have never seen before. There seems to be a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy. The signals are coming from everywhere. We can safely assume we are going to meet some of them sooner or later. Or, wait, our, or rather, your life will never be the same, Captain. One of these digital signatures seems to be familiar, but the message itself is unclear. Perhaps we can get closer to its source. The transmission will clear up. The source is in outer space, a few days from our current position. By the way, Captain, you still have to nominate your communications officer. I'd say Megan fits the bill, you agree? It's settled on then. From now on, Megan will be, or will ensure that you receive some power for the crafting module regularly. As long as she's not insubordinate, that is. Your stomach feels rather empty. Looks like you feel a little better. You regained your sanity. Emmett would like to eat something. Dee Dee would like to eat something. Uh, I guess we can craft right now, too, right? Oh, we can craft soup as well. Artifact. Lighter. Tape. Communicator. First aid kit. I want to craft an artifact. Okay. Cannot believe my own cameras. A dozen potatoes just sped past us. Captain, you need to see this. Now you can see leaks frozen at near zero degrees, Kelvin, gliding majestically between our stabilizers. One drifts too close and shatters into myriad glistening pieces like hundreds of tiny diamonds. Space-faring potatoes are part of the Farmer's Day celebrations on the faraway planet of Catrashock. We shoot for the stars, their transmission says. It also mentions a sister planet, Pomodoria, that will repeat the event soon. We should try to fish those celebrity tomatoes out of space, but how? Strength. Alright, next day. You guys are hungry, but it's fine. Day 9. Oh, look, we got the artifact. I thought your plan to use the loose wall panel as a tomato catcher had merit. It would have worked if you were able to lift it. Maneuvering large object in space is not your forte, though. You ended up pelted with tomatoes, while the tomato catcher remained spotless. If there was a stabilizing or stabling near a polka dot wall, there still would be less splatter that you had on your suit when you came back inside. None of the tomatoes survived uh, the carnage though, so we will have to do without them. Now please wash yourself, you're dripping tomatoes all over the deck. TD still complaining about lack of rations, crafting complete, we got the artifact. You're starving? Megan's starving? Okay. Oh yeah, they're a little bit hungry. So Megan gets food. And Tom gets food. Okay. Captain, we are now entering a field of cosmic gas. Its origin is unknown, though. I have a theory. Uh-oh, can you smell that? Did someone forget to brush their teeth today? No, it's just that gas leaking inside the shuttle. Someone could try to isolate some of the gas to, uh, to use later, avoiding the leak side effects. Let's go for this guy again. He's smart. He'll figure it out. Okay. He needs food, and then Megan needs food. 
There we go. You're on gas duty, bro. Emmett did a great job containing the gas leaking inside the shuttle. He also succeeded in isolating enough of the gas for us to rework into useful chemicals. Smart. Yo, plus 20. You might want to secure some rations for yourself. Okay. Yeah, not too bad so far. Okay, make a decision here. Interesting news, Captain. It appears that there's a hollow space between or behind one of the wall panels. A hidden room, maybe? Secret stash? It'd be worth checking out. What's your approach to finding out what's behind the panel? Uh, brute force again? We should probably craft something, too. Oh, you can upgrade? Upgrade the artifact. There's a shovel, handbook. Can we craft something new? How about a lighter? All right, next day. Day 11. Look at that, like growing a beard too. Yesterday you removed a wall panel and found a hidden space. The panel was pretty heavy, but you tore it away with no problems at all. Nicely done for a human. Unfortunately, you found nothing. The area was small and completely empty. This didn't seem to phase you much. I suppose you are used to disappointments by now. You could use more rations, needy starving, crafting completed, new item available. This could starve them. Hey, they don't need food. Oh, she's hurt. Uh-oh. Wait, how'd she get all cut up? All right, they're starving. Okay, I've got to feed them. I guess we need to craft a med kit. And then what's this? Oh, we already have that. Okay. I protest. Your self-appointment as captain of this vessel does not grant you the right to injure your, your crew's heads. This also includes accidental flying soup can related injuries. If you have anything to treat the wound with, I strongly suggest you use it. I don't. <laughs> I don't, man. I'm sorry. Uh, tomorrow. We'll help you tomorrow. How about that? Okay, so everything but everyone but me. No, actually, no, DD needs food and uh, Emmett does. You're just hungry, and I'm hungry too. <laughs> Whoops. Well, hopefully, she stays alive. So, this guy, and then... Which one's DD? The one without glasses. This one. Come on, you're fine. You'll be fine, right? Right? Yeah, you're good. Humans can function perfectly well with a massive head injury with no medical attention. Your words, not mine, Captain. Have you informed your injured crewmate? Okay. Her wounds will require some medical attention. The best course of action is creating a first aid kit. Yeah, we got one now. We're good now, I think. We're being contacted by royalty, a prince no less. All we need to do is send him some soup and a little personal information and he'll reward us with five cans of soup. <laughs> the poor man has been betrayed by his family. He needs the intergalactic currency to access a secret soup account you stored away. Surely send the soup at once. <laughs> like a Nigerian prince maybe? Nah, I'm not gonna buy it, dude. No. Okay, where's the first aid kit? There you go. One with the glasses, right? Yeah. This sounds familiar, right? <laughs> Wait, I can't... Is it still being crafted? Oh, it takes three days. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, hopefully you can survive for three more days. Or two more days. Yeah, I'm not falling for that, bro. <laughs> Nice try. <laughs> what is this? A scam, you say? I hardly think a prince would resort to such lows. Next you'll tell me the man who programmed my spelling functions wasn't legitimate. Very well, Captain. We'll keep our precious soups. And the heir to the empire of Shabalaba Bing Bong will starve. I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> you never know, though? I, do, I know, I know. Is yellow getting really skinny? Oh, dude, yeah. Look at that, the pants. Oh, what's this? Incoming transmission. Bonjour, Astro Citizens. La Veronque crew welcomes you as your formal ally from Earth. Return to your nap station. Communication with another vessel. Pardon our onboard AI is itty bitty confused. This was not in her schedule, but I would like to meet with you, Monsieur Cap or American Captain. For the continued alliance of our nations, yes? May I board your ship for customary drinks? Merci, Captain F. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you on. 
I'm cool with that. Are we starving? Oh, starving, hungry. Okay, we're both starving. You and you. Dude, we're running out of soup. We're running out, bro. Monsieur, Astro Citizen, Uncante Captain, Felicite, first cat in space, proud representative of my nation's government. The visitor extended her paw in greeting. Please accept this symbolic soup a la tomate from me and my crew. Bon appetit. Hey, there's the cat right there. I am shocked. We did not expect to meet anybody here. We collect much data and we look for planets to colonize. Are you also here for research? As you can see, Claudie, my ship's AI is not happy that I am here, but I am the captain, yes? I may go where as I please. I shall spend a few days here. Let us get to know each other, and now we dine. Please, show me your table. I think I speak for everyone when I say the contribution of the sock from your left foot will be vital to our survival, Captain. Alright, crafting complete. And we got a decision here. I'm disturbed, Captain. You reported hearing a child crying somewhere in the shuttle. But my sensors don't show anyone unaccounted for on board. Certainly no stowaway children. This may be an auditory hallucination caused by the stress of witnessing a nuclear war. The other possibility is my sensors are malfunctioning and there is, there really is a stowaway. Search the shuttle? Yes. Search. Okay, hungry, hungry, hungry hippo, hurt. Okay, let me, I can fix you. I can patch you up now. It was you, right? Yes. Day 15. Oh, we're surviving. Okay, we might go a little bit over the scheduled time. <laughs> uh, you and the crew cr or tried to find the source of the mystery child's cries, even though the others couldn't hear it. But after sifting through every crate and searching every dark corner, you didn't find anyone else. It was a stress-related auditory hallucination. I'm not surprised. When the nukes start flying down on Earth and the space station exploded, your crew barely escaped with your lives. Billions of others weren't so lucky. Felicia says, ever heard of Napoleon? A leader most famous, yes. The exile of Snowball was controversial. It is a much disputed event. Your stomach feels rather empty. I'm overjoyed to report that Megan is not hurt anymore. Wounds are healed. Okay. Just kind of status update there. Yeah, that's a good idea. I can craft a soup. Might as well. Felicia wants to speak to you. I thank you for your hospitality, but there is an issue. I received many errors from Claudie today. Or daily. Air here, air there, airy everywhere. She is not well. Perhaps it's my fault. I was not to leave La Veronque, you see? Not until our return to Earth. I must go back to my ship with haste. While Claudia is faulty, we might require your help. Can I count on you in the future? I got you, bro. You gave me a soup? We're good. Day 16. We got three soup cans, bro. Felice left you a message and returned to her ship. I'm most glad you agree. Let us cooperate then. I will make contact with you soon, Monsieur. If you are still in outer space. Your stomach feels rather empty. Okay. Can we craft another one? More soup, dude. More soup. Did you see that, Captain? Your long-lost rubber chicken just floated past the shuttle. Oh my, there are thousands of rubber chickens. And they're spilling out of the tiny machine. Could be an abandoned duplication device. Maybe we can replace the chicken with something useful? Minerals? Maybe? Day 17. You put some minerals into a strange black container, and the machine produced vital metals and alloys until it sputtered out and broke. What do you mean, how did I know that was it was a duplication device? Or device? Most certainly did not. Never seen a duplication device, especially not on Earth, and definitely did not know for a fact that it's capable of duplicating cats. How absurd. Emmett remains disloyal. What? Uh-oh. Insubordinate and he's starving. Okay, we gotta feed everyone. Everyone's starving. Tiny blue creature has begun cleaning our ship windows with a squeegee. Work is hard to find out in the cosmos, Captain. Just don't look it in the eye. <laughs> Too late. It sees you. It's expecting some sort of payment. It did clean off particularly Stay a while uh, rotund listen. space bug. What should we offer this interstellar vagabond? Yo, Mr. Morg with the raid. Here, let me get your shout out. Give me that soup. Yo, how was your stream? We're uh, playing some like new games right now, but we're going to switch soon to D4. Yo, welcome in Kiki Nick. Uh, Kiki Nick, where are you guys getting into? 
I want to pay with a sock puppet. All right, and we got to feed everyone now too. This is going to be the last of my soup. The last of my soup, bro. Could I put the soup? Oh yeah, we could have done the duplicate for the soup. Oh well. The tiny creature took one look at the sock and burst into tears. You thought it was offended, but it seems it felt honored instead. It proceeded to pad its pockets, looking for something to give in return. A first aid kit. The alien demonstrated how the bandages work. Uh, pantomiming wrapping one around its arms. Then it pantomimed taking a pill, then applying a splint. Okay, we get it. I thought I clicked no. It's alright. Uh, it wasn't D4, but internet has been wonky. It was dropping flames, frames all over the place. Oh no! Yeah, hopefully, maybe someone's just like downloading something. Hopefully ISP is good. Captain Felicia's on the comms. Monsieur Captain, we are in dire situation. Claudia malfunctions are getting worse. She is stuck in laser playtime mode all day. My crew is going insane. The laser dances. We cannot sleep. Cannot look away. And the snack is never dispensed. Such torture. I would not wish on my worst enemy. Not even the Bolshevik dogs. Can you assist us in some manner? I, dude, I can't help you. I don't have any supplies. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, can we craft more soup? Could be it's Comcast, so you know it is what it is. Yeah, dude, Comcast. Yeah, I know how that is. Oh, we have a first aid kit. I guess that's something. Someone's gonna die soon. I just know it. New scannable object detected. You didn't assist the crew with their issue. Judging by their AI's log, she got distracted with something in their vicinity and stopped the laser show. Her crew is resting right now, whether she wants them to or not. It's interesting to read a fellow AI's logs, but kind of weird. I like my personal errors to remain personal. Maybe it's a culture thing. Are all European AI so free-spirited? Crafting soup complete. Uh-oh, we're out of resources. Uh, maybe we should craft a tape. Alert! A star just went supernova in this quadrant. Huge gravitational waves will reach us soon. Space-time will stretch and contract. Gravity will fluctuate greatly, and most importantly, I will weigh up to three tons and transmit slower. The ship's hull should not, or should hold, but the things inside are much squishier, human bodies included. One of the Albert monkeys shot into space and never regained his normal density after a similar wave, remaining light and very wind-dependent till the end of his days. You need to plan on how to survive this. You think speed? I mean, they said light. Yeah, maybe speed. How are you guys doing? Insubordinate, hungry, hungry, hoarder, weak, hungry, comms officer, hungry, or comms officer. Well, no one's starving, so that's good. Day 20. You secured everything tight, then turned off the ship's gravity to let the waves swipe through with minimal interaction. Then the gravitational waves hit. You saw the hole stretch and contract as if it was bubblegum in some cosmic brat's mouth. A screw started coming loose in the window. You drifted towards it shakily. Bumping into a can of soup, it followed the wave, stretching further and further, then burst. Red tomato soup, soup amoebas reached the wall with an undignified splat. You secured the window just in time. Minus soup. No! No, dude. What the heck? Uh-oh. Recycle. Uh... <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, I have a shovel to do on here. Okay, what is this, though? Captain, we've stopped moving. An automaton is tethering us. I'll play its transmission on the main display. Want to do good in the universe? The fluff scales need your help. Picture of an animal fluff scale presumably fills the screen. It's a cross between a wild hog, roadkill, and a snake. The roadkill looks at you expectantly. Uh, since their masters went extinct, fluff scales suffer freedom. Unaccustomed. They are on the verge of dying. Donate soup to poor fluff scales. All it takes is one can. And I will gratefully let you go. What do we do, Captain? Shovel. I don't have any soup, bro. Take the shovel. You had no sympathy for the fluff scales. You dangled out of the airlock and hit the fundraising automaton hard with a shovel. But it was your words that made the bigger impression. When the robot heard you yell about the hardship of your travels, it expressed sympathy and started sharing its resources with you immediately. There we go. 
Then it took pictures of you and vowed to campaign for medals on humankind's behalf. I will not rest until each human can shield itself from nuclear radiation, it proclaimed boldly and left. Chances are high your image evokes much more pity than a fluff scale. Uh-oh. Monsieur, let us speak captain to captain. This universe is a harsh place. Awfully empty and depressing, yes? My crew, they suffer. Their minds are dull and spirits unmoved. The aura on board is inadequate. Claudie's scheduling errors keep delaying our play sessions ad infinitum. It simply will not do. We are dying for some merriment. Uh, will you assist? I guess, man. I don't have a puppet, but I got armor. Dude, we need... Oh, shoot. I should have crafted. No! Uh-oh. Monsieur, I admit, Felice, or Felicite, responded to your gift. At first, I thought this armor garment is terrible, yes? Wrong size, unknown color, horrid shape. Hard to touch, atrocious for naps, but so wonderful to scratch, our claws wish for more. Claudia was glad we found a new object to harass. She now contemplates its atomic structure. She says she could create wonderful things with the same texture. We await her new creations. I'm hoping for drapes myself. Ours are kaput, I'm afraid. Oh, we got a soup from that. Nice. And then what do we got here? You've neglected your oral hygiene, haven't brushed your teeth in a while, so now you need to pull that tasty tooth before it gets hurt, or the nasty tooth before it gets worse. Uh, don't worry, it's only going to hurt a little. There might be a complimentary sticker in there for you. Or in it for you. As per, per protocol, the necessary tools were automatically dispensed. Uh, one piece of string and one bottle of anesthetic. Uh, it has the Astro Citizen logo and anesthetic written on it. Will you require, will require an assistant for the surgery? I trust this guy, even though he's insubordinate. Nasty tooth. Uh, I thought this round would only take 30 minutes. So, yeah. We're going until we either die or finish it. I'm pretty sure we're close to death, though. Let me see. Can I craft? I cannot craft. Oh, no, dude. We have minerals, but we don't have this thing. Well, he's starving. Maybe we can make him more or less, like, subordinate or insubordinate. Give him the soup. A rare event, yeah. Day 23. You took it like a champ, but a terrified and disgusted Emmett went into shock and insisted on drinking the whole bottle of anesthetic to calm his nerves. Emmett passed out after downing the suspicious liquid and woke up much later feeling slow and sluggish. Uh oh. Did you check the expiration date on that bottle? You're still facing starvation, Captain. You won't survive long if you don't eat something. I don't have anything to eat though, bro. Captain Felice is transmitting. Monsieur Astro Citizen, may I introduce you to my two trusted officers? Professor Anonym, the theoretical genius, and Madame Integra, my very best scout. Together. They are proof that curiosity does not kill the cat. Uh, they would be, or they would much love to conduct some research somewhere new and exciting, such as your ship. May they board, Monsieur? Only a few days, yes. I would gladly send you a souvenir once they are done. All right. We don't have any food, man. We're about to die. We're on death's door here. Don't even have like a sock puppet I can give them. Yeah, rare event, rare event. But we'll be switching soon. Don't worry. You had agreed to let Captain's officer stay on board for a few days? Pardon, Monsieur. Things to do. Places to be. Madame Integra whizzed past you with speed of an one overly excited cat who has been cooped up in a small space for too long. It is safe. I can enter. On, deux, trois, I go. The second guest came inside, carefully sniffing the floor. Bonjour. Apologize for her. Professor Anami uh, gestured at Madame Integra. Uh, certainly, or currently climbing the highest shelf in the cabin. She is most savage. Uh-oh. No, she starved to death. You heard Bonjour? There's, a, there's French cats in this game. Uh-oh. We lost one, guys. Captain, I'm picking up a large object of unknown origin not far from us. It's hollow. There could be supplies inside, or maybe even other intelligent life. There's only one way to find out. Should it activate... Our super fancy tractor beam? Yes, that's an official name. Charlene from Astro Citizen HQ won the naming rights of the at the Christmas raffle. Yes, tractor beam, we need supplies. Do it now. 
We're all gonna die if we don't get soup. You pulled the mysterious hollow space thing aboard and opened it. Unfortunately, the astronaut hiding inside had long since perished. Decomposition in space is interesting, Captain. I gathered many useful di- No, you're right. I'm sorry. May he rest in peace. Everyone on board suffered mentally from the experience. You kept muttering, It could have been me. I'm confused by your hypotheticals, Captain. It still could. Professor Anonym, or Anonym says, Life in space is a wonder, but also terrifying. What if the captain de or cabin depressurized, or the ship exploded? Or you tripped and fell out of the airlock? Every day could be your last, Monsieur. Mark my words. Madame Integra says, Higher, higher, I shall ascend to the highest shelves in this galaxy and beyond. Yo, what's up, JP? Could be one kilometer away in any search stream. You should notice when you say a French word. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're, uh, we're in a tough spot here, man. I can craft a phone, but... I guess maybe that'll be our last line of defense here. Oh, we do have a tape for this, whatever this is. Got good news. I got bad news. The good news is using the airlock as a space toilet was a success. Is now packed full and ready to be emptied into space. The bad news is that the airlock hatch is jammed. If you don't fix it soon, our clogged toilet will quickly become an extinction level event. It's now or never, Captain. How do we save the human race? Well, we have to use the tape. We still don't have any food, bro. Hopefully the cats give us some soup. The duct tape saved the day, Captain. The airlock hatch is now fully operational, and the troublesome cargo is gone. We are safe. I'm certain the smell will go away, too, someday. Your people are safe, Captain. What a relief for all of you. Stomach's empty. Still weak. Oh, we got a soup! We got a soup can, and then uh, we got the phone crafted. Okay, we got one can, guys. Uh, following a lost territorial dispute for the highly coveted window spot, Madame Integra is restless. She's all up in my, well, everything, well, everywhere. Climbing, touching, sniffing, everything. Where is she going, Captain? She's not supposed to go there, Captain. Get her up. Well, speed, right? Speed. Snooty Yabla update looks on something nefarious. Alright, who needs the soup the most? Well, probably the Captain, right? You kind of need the Captain to survive. We can't, like, split it, though? I was so relieved to have these paws off my keyboard. Thank you, sir. You gently removed Madame Integra from my keyboard. She saw it as an act of violence, or perhaps she declared a declaration of war. Madame Integra, you must not attack. Prose Professor Anonym pleaded. Monsieur Captain has diplomatic immunity. It shall be a whole scandal. You all right, Captain? Tis but a scratch, you say. Thank you for establishing clear boundaries at the price of a flesh wound or two. Oh, boy. You found a couple of rusted and swollen cans of soup in the darkest corner of the ship. Someone must have put them there a long time ago, and then completely forgotten about them. Doesn't look like all that safe to eat, but then again, it's canned soup. Yes, I'll keep the cans. Oh no, someone else died. And then there were two. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's but a flesh wound. Oh no. Come on, survive. Survive. I can feed you guys today. That ancient soup you found gave us gave you pause, and no wonder. It looks older than the ship, and yet here it is. Who could have left it here? Then again, who cares? Free soup. What could go wrong, right? Uh, Professor Anum says, A space snake, a terrifying monster, most real. Save yourself, Monsieur. Run. Oh, pardon. It is a wire. Madame Integra says, No, Monsieur. I did not know what would happen if I pushed this object off the shelf. That is precisely why I did it. Yes? cats, man. Uh, the oxygen level is dropping. We have a malfunctioning filter in the main onboard support circuit for oxygen waste, or Moscow for short. I don't know who named it. You cannot rule out sabotage. You should fix it. You can reach Moscow from the zero-g space between the hole and the outer deck. Alright, you're going, bud. Just seeing them jumping in the air. <laughs> Alright, well, we can feed you guys now. We have soup. There we go. Emmett bravely sped through Zero-G, grabbing hold of the broken air filter as surely as a gecko dipped in glue. He pulled hard and was hit by a discharge of pure oxygen. Captain, my senses are showing that all the oxygen made Emmett smarter. 
A human mind receiving an upgrade is something we should celebrate. La Veronique flew by and picked up the intrepid duo. Captain Felicit left you with a message. Much merci, American Captain. My officers have finished their research and are back with us now. The professor is too stre or stressed to touch his dish. Madame Integra has an untreatable case of less zooms. Human ships are not optimal for cats, I think. Claudia will log this at once. Oh, we got a helmet, I guess. Can you hear my teeth chattering, Captain? Of course you can't, because I'm a computer and I have no teeth, duh. Still, I regret to inform you that the heat module is stuck in a cooling feedback loop. It's going to get very cold very soon. My vacuum tubes will be fine, but you should protect yourself or you'll freeze, Captain. Good thing we crafted this lighter. Yo, Mary, Mary Brown, thanks for the follow. Wait, the end? No, I died. No, what? I was well fed, bro. What? Your wounds? I was wounded. Your wounds got infected. The heat module's reset to factory default and is running on its tropical setting. Captain, suggestion: Why don't we make a the lighter a heat module backup system? It worked today. And it will again. Your mental condition is still unstable. You should take care of your injuries, Captain. So I, I just got injured by the light. Okay. Well, that was a good run. I, it was a little bit over 30 minutes, but hey, we survived 30 days. But yeah, that's uh, 60 parsecs. It's pretty cool.